Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a brand new week on a Monday, and it's exciting today because we have upgrade packs, right? Mondays mean upgrade packs, and especially during team of the season, and really with this insane La Liga Tot squad, everybody today is going to be excited about doing those upgrade packs. So I want to talk about those, how that's going to impact the market today, because I do think that it is going to impact the market a lot, very similar to how it did during the Premier League a couple of weeks ago on that Monday where you saw a lot of the rest of the market continue to fall. A lot of the fodder prices start to go up as people are doing SBCs and opening upgrade packs to try to pack these guys. The insane La Liga team of the season cards, which Benzema is actually kind of down right now. And I want to talk about these cards in this video today too because for some of the elite tier cards like this Benzema, what we've seen in the past couple weeks is these elite tier very rare cards are actually their lowest prices most often on the weekend or in that Sunday to Monday time frame. So kind of right where we are right now, some of these cards might be buys. If you just want to say, hey, I don't think I'm going to pack them this week. I want to buy it for my team or just to try the card out, maybe to finish your weekend link or whatever it may be. I think that some of these like elite tier La Liga Tots cards could be buys in the next day or so. Um, even though it seems really, really early and we have upgrade packs coming out, that's kind of been the trend for these elite tier cards. Now, the lower tier cards like a Kunde, an Alaba, uh, Fakir, if you want to buy any of those for your teams, we're going to hold off on those. And we'll talk about that a little bit later today in the video. But for these elite tier cards, we're going to dissect this part of the market and just the whole market in general. Because as we've been mentioning and as we talked about in yesterday's video, a lot of the market is still falling. I sold Lewandowski at like 530,000 coins. He is now down at like 400. He was 430 earlier a lot of the other out of packs tots cards continue to drop because all the hype is with the brand new ones so we're going to talk about all that today and more if you're enjoying la liga tots and if you're excited for upgrade packs today hit the thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe if you're new let's just start talking about what everybody's excited for today like i said is the upgrade packs and as we've been seeing the past couple weeks ea have a system down they've been dropping the same upgrade packs each week they start with the premium upgrade specific to the league so we should see the 25k the premium la liga upgrade pack today 11 rare golds and 45 chemistry is what it should require for 4 2 formation even if we want to get that specific we'll get that upgrade pack today that's the best one for crafting right because you get 12 players from it three rare now that pack should be a lot better than it was last week during Bundesliga because i think the 80 plus player pick that we should have today shouldn't require like 11 rares like it did last week during Bundesliga and it should require five or six like it did during Premier League now right now gold rares on the market I'll use I'll, I'll use League One Ubritz as my example I believe gold rares are still right around discard so if you want to have a last shot I am currently unassigned um, yes you heard me say it for a very rare time here on the channel and, and on this FIFA account we are unassigned on gold rares because I went out bidding on some of those um, Serie A like La Liga, Liga, on all those gold rare cards to do upgrade packs today because I want to hit La Liga team in the season hard with upgrade packs just because how insane this team is. I know a lot of you guys want to do the same. Now, how high are these rare golds going to go? If you haven't prepared yet, I think it's safe to buy them even if you're buying them at like seven or 800 coins today as their prices start to go up. These cards are probably going to be 1.2 to 1.3K, especially for like the center backs and the right backs, left mid, right mids later on through the, the rest of this week. Kind of compare it to how it was during Prem Tots two weeks ago. There's a lot of hype for upgrade packs. That means a lot of people are going to go out and buy these cards. Now, if you've invested in gold rares, uh, you're going to be wanting to sell those, in my opinion, probably Thursday. That's when they were the most expensive for Prem Tots, and we'll kind of follow them throughout this whole week. But right now, they're cheap still, right? They're basically discards, so if you want to go stock some, go ahead and do that. But I think those are the upgrade packs that we'll see today. Last week... Or, and during Premier League, actually, there wasn't just those two, right? We also had like a 75 plus player pick. We had a, um, there, there was another one, an 82 to 88 upgrade. So I think we'll have at least three or four different types of upgrade pack SBCs today inside of this team of the season tab on the SBC menu. I think also what we'll get today is like an 83 times 5. And that was something that last week with Bundesliga Tots, we had like a 75 plus times 10. Um, and it was kind of dead, right? It was not that good. I think today for La Liga, they're going to give us an 83 times five because uh, just like we were talking about last week, the Bundesliga has so much fewer rares 
and especially higher rated rare golds in uh, just the game in general, but La Liga has a decent amount more. Premier League has the most. I think La Liga is in second with the second highest number of gold rares, especially for higher rated ones. So I think that could make the 80 plus player pick cheaper today. And I also think that they won't have to do a 75 plus times 10. I feel like they should go with an 83 times five. That pack's been added to the code as of a couple of weeks ago before team of the season. So I think that would be a really, really good spot for EA to drop that SBC today on Monday so that we could do it a couple more times throughout the rest of this week. I would watch out for that as well. And with that SBC coming out, that brings me to our first market segment talking in this video today. We have to talk about SBC fodder because fodder is still pretty low. I think people are going out and starting to buy some of these cards like the 83s. They're about 850 to 900, some of them approaching 1,000 coins. 84s are still under 3K. 85s are still 5,000 coins. 86s are still 8K a piece. This stuff really was not affected that much yesterday um, by the 93 plus icon moments SBC coming out. Maybe some of these cards are up, you know, maybe like three, four, 500 coins um, per card, but the, the rise is on fodder, except for some of the higher tier, like the 90 rated cards. Some of these went up a little bit, but most of this stuff is still pretty low. And I think that this lower tier, again, the 83s to the 86s, is going to be your bread and butter this week if you're trying to invest in fodder or maybe stock the transfer list while you go do a bunch of upgrade packs so that you have a little bit of an investment working for you while you're spending coins on upgrade packs. That's a very you know efficient way to do things as well. I, again, I like the 83s to the 86s and specifically the 84s and 85s because I think that that guaranteed pack this week for La Liga team of the season is probably going to come in at an 85 rated squad, maybe an 86 like Premier League. So I think that's going to be your range where you'd want to invest in fodder. It's still pretty low. I think it does go up, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Between the Tuesday and Thursday time frame, you probably should see the peak most likely on Wednesday like it was in the, in the weeks prior um, just because of... That's the day when we get that La Liga Tots guaranteed. And in the past couple of weeks, that's been the peak day for a lot of fodder. Now, also with that, all this content coming out today, right? Maybe an 83 times five, all the upgrade packs. I think that we should see some more movements on the market in general. Now, fodder would be moving up, but I want to talk about these La Liga Tots cards because I know that, yes, these guys are going to be in packs still. Yes, everybody's going to be wanting to pack these from the upgrade SBCs today, but when is the best time to buy these? And I think for some of the higher tier cards, like we mentioned, a buy time for these cards might be really soon. Let me take you back to Premier League team of the season just two weeks ago and take a look at some of these graphs because you're going to notice that a lot of these cards, the really expensive ones, the rare, like the upper echelon, the top tier cards that were in this tot squad were their lowest on like Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Some of them were kind of low still on Tuesday. Um, it, it just depended on the card. You can see Salah here was down in the 2524 range. It says Tuesday was his absolute lowest point uh, for Salah at the 25 range. Cristiano Ronaldo, how uh, what was his low point? His low point was, you can see, Sunday, 4.6, and then he started rising back up with a smaller rise on Monday and Tuesday and then really going up out of packs. I think that, and this even happened last week with Bundesliga as well. We can take a look back. Bundesliga was less hype, though, uh, in terms of the full team, so I think that you have to be a little bit more careful with this one. But Jude Bellingham was on Sunday, 3.3 mil. And by the time we got to Thursday, he was actually about 3.5 million coins. Of course, now he's dropped off like mad. Same thing with Kimmich, right? Kimmich is 700K. He was 700K last week on Saturday and Sunday, then exploded to 890 in the middle of the week, just being a super duper rare card that everybody wanted to buy for their teams. Now, do I think you're gonna see this type of rise on players in La Liga Tots this week? I don't think it's going to be that crazy because, again, there's so much more hype with these cards. And during Premier League, we didn't see that crazy of a rebound in price right away. It took a couple of days. But if you if you see some big price drop offs today on Monday, uh, you know, I don't think that's really going to happen. That They're not running the late night lightning rounds on Sunday night tonight. So any of these prices that have dropped off are purely just from, you know, um, people selling cards as they finish the weekend league. But I think for some of these top tier guards, cards like Benzema, Vinny, Modric, Pedri, Felix, those five cards in general, your cards that are right around a million coins and higher, I think that for some of these, their lowest prices, or at least a low price for the next day or two, if you want to try them out in a weekend league or anything like that, it might be today. I mean, yes, we have really good content coming out inside of this promo right now. But as it stands, like we don't have any crazy leaked SBCs. 
we have a 93 plus moments upgrade. We, we're not expecting another icon moments upgrade. Um, today is really just about the upgrade packs. And yes, while that is very, very hype, that doesn't impact these upper echelon players that much because how many people are actually going out and going to pack a Benzema today or a Vinny or, you know, a Modric? Like, not many people. Some people will get insanely lucky and pack these cards. Um, but the the further that you wait later on into the week, I think you're going to start to see these guys just start to trickle up in price. So if you see some undercuts on any of these cards that you really want to buy, you know, I was really watching Modric. I wanted to see him at like 770 or even 7 like 750, right? And he's still like 790, 785 right now. I think the, the the switch might flip a little bit today on Monday because Monday is also a day where we usually see a little bit of the market rise up, especially on those brand new hyped cards that people want to try out in their teams, especially with weekend league still going on. So I think you will see a few rises on some of these La Liga Tots cards today. Um, and you see a couple of these prices maybe just rise up a bit. They could have a, some slight drops after the content today. Again, with the upgrade packs being just so hype and so many people getting excited for those. I really feel like though that that's, you know, if you're, if you're somebody who wants to go and use a Pedri or a Felix or a Benzema, are you going to really panic sell like a, a million coin card to go do upgrade packs today? No. What you're going to do is you're going to go sell. Oh my goodness. I have an Alaba in my team that I'm trying out. I'm going to go sell Alaba to do upgrade packs. 170K, that'll get you a, a nice set of upgrade packs. And it doesn't feel like that many coins that you have to go gamble. The cards that are going to probably drop today with upgrade packs coming out, just with people selling them to go do the packs and then panic in general because people will fear that they're going to get packed would be a Felix, an Alaba, Courtois, maybe Kunde a little bit, and then Acuna, Araujo, th those middle to lower tier cards. Think about during Premier League team of the season. We saw the exact same thing happen on that week on the Monday, right? We had cards like Bernardo Silva and Trent and Jota, those and Ruben Diaz. Those were the cards that took the hit at that content drop on Monday when the upgrade packs were released. So I think that's going to be the same thing that we'll see here today on Monday with La Liga team of the season. So if you're really set on buying a Benzema or a Vinny, um, I know the prices seem very, very expensive, but it's because where the hype is. And these cards are still very, very rare and on the market and on the game. So, you know, I don't feel really, I don't think it's that super crazy risky to go out and splash the cash on a Benzema or a Vinny, at least right now for the next day or two or three. Now, of course, once we start getting leaks for La Liga or for League One team of the season, which is next, if it doesn't look that good, then we might see, which would seem really weird to say, League One team of the season not being very good. We'll see what happens with that, especially since we don't have a vote for that team of the season. We're not entirely sure how EA is going to choose it. Are they going to choose it based off of the UNFP voting for like the league's team of the season? We really don't know. Um, but you know, I, I just think that there's going to be some rises on these cards because they're so insanely hype. And again, I just go back to the Premier League tots and I think about when Mane went from 3 million coins to like 3.3, 3.4 after Wednesday and Thursday. Salah went from like 2.2 as we were looking at to 2.5. Ronaldo went up a bunch. Even guys like Sun and Cancelo was like 950k and he went to 1.1 mil on that Friday. Like I think that we could see some more rises on the La Liga tots cards similar to the Prem, but in that upper tier. So so that's kind of what I'm thinking with these cards. Now, for the rest of the market, you're like, Nate, what do I do with my Prem Tots cards that are down horrendous or my Bundesliga Tots cards that literally just keep dropping? You know, Davies was just 200K flat a minute ago. Kimmich was under 700,000 coins. He's kind of bouncing back. That's the story of this market right now. You have panic sells and then you have some rebounds based off of rarity. Kimmich went from 718 to 770 yesterday. And then he's been down, as you can see here, he was down to 700K flat. Now he's sort of bouncing back up a little bit at like 715. This is a really, really good card to trade with. If any of you right now are just trying to make coins and trade with cards in this game, these cards that are really rare, they have fantastic fluctuations throughout the morning, throughout the day. You'll see a period of panic selling. You watch that card drop off maybe like 10%, 15%, and you can say, all right, that is going to be a good price for me to flip because he's going to rebound back up off of rarity. It's risky because I still think that with the hype of upgrade packs today, you should see some of these cards continue to drop off. People that have um, you've been, you know, been using Bundesliga Tots cards that have maybe finished their weekend league, maybe still holding on to a card or two, might go out on the market today and, and sell an item so that they can go and do upgrade packs, right? Again, that's where the hype is going to be today on Monday with the upgrade packs. So, I mean, a guy like Van Dyke, who was 
you know, 600 something thousand coins and is now like 490, 485 right now on the market, like a crazy drop. I sold Van Dyke for like, I don't even remember what it was, like 600,000 coins, 630 on, on Friday night, Saturday morning, and now he's 488. I think that some of these cards are going to continue to fluctuate around, but ultimately, I, I think they're going to keep dropping because, again, people are going to do upgrade packs today. They're going to pack La Liga cards, and that's where the hype is going to be. So for the rest of the TOTS cards, we saw this during Prem TOTS as well, is like your community team and season cards, your air divisi cards, and some of your other out of pack specials dropped until like that Tuesday, um, the day after the upgrade packs were released, because everybody was so focused on those and like the 83 times five Premier League pack, that sort of thing. I think you still will see more market movements and dropping prices on other cards on this market, maybe like out of packs cards that aren't La Liga, that aren't uh, League One because people are starting to invest in League One for the next week uh, and the next week of team of the season. So what I would really say is um, be careful holding anything right now that is not a La Liga out of pack special or a League One card that you're investing in or a very, very recent TOTS card, maybe like um, one of the Saudi League TOTS cards like Talisca's 540 or Romarino out of packs now is 159. Just be very careful holding these cards because I still think that some of the market could drop a bit more uh, today after the content drop. But again, the other side of me is thinking, all right, Nate, the content this week, we only have one other leaked SBC player as of right now, and it's Aspas. Yes, this card does look pretty solid. Could it be dropping today even? Potentially it could be, but as of right now, it's just a mixture of the team and packs is really, really hype, but is the SBC content going to support that and also be really, really hype? That I don't know. I really don't know at the moment how that's going to end up working out, but we'll see if there's any more insane leaks that could bode for an even bigger market cr crash and prices dropping even further. But realistically, I think that tonight into tomorrow should be some pretty low prices on the market in general. And if the content does not look that good, then it might start to rebound as we had later on throughout this week on the other out of pack stuff. So that could create some really good trading opportunities. Um, especially again, we just need to see the upgrade packs come out today. And then whatever other content we have, that'll start to decide where this market could keep going for the rest of this week. Now, speaking of cards that are on this game right now, we have another, it's almost like, um, you know, EA Sports is, is doing a little deja vu from last week because we have ourselves the Liga Portugal items. I want to go over yesterday's content for just a little bit uh, and talk about stuff in, in that general region just here for a second. Last week, Talisca was extinct at like, what, 950K? He got the price range update to 1.2 mil. This week, Nunez got an absolutely disgusting TOTS card. Um, definitely the highlight of Liga Nos, aka Liga Portugal. Five-star skill upgrade. He's extinct at 750,000 coins. If you want to see the card, I'll just look at it on Footbin right here. Um, everybody wants to try this guy out. Again, it's literally just like Talisca from last week. He's got 98 pace, 98 physical with multiple stats in the 99s, high, high work rates. And he's got a lot of hype because he's rumored to be transferring to a really big club this summer or multiple really big clubs this summer, whichever one he ends up going to. The rest of this team, it looks just okay. I mean, like that's the best Coates card we've ever had. Grimaldo looks really good. Pedro Porro looks solid. Rafa looks like a great card that if you're going to use Nunez, you're going to link Rafa Rafa to him. Uribe looks pretty solid. Um, Vitor Ferreira. I mean, a lot of these cards are fodder besides Rafa, Taremi, Uribe, Nunez, uh, maybe Otavio and Pedro Porto. Like, I guess part of the team is fodder and then the other part is, is not fodder. Um, and I think that it's got a little bit more hype than the Saudi League Tots from last week, but it's the hype is really all with Nunez. And at the moment, he's extinct at 750. Do I think that that's a good price to be extinct at? I think his price is going to react just a lot like Talisca's did. It's nice that we have Talisca and to look back on from last week. Nunez is probably going to stay pretty high this week as he's really hyped. But then whatever comes out this next weekend with League One, with him being in packs on Friday for people with League One saved up packs and stuff like that, you know, I think that he'll drop off a lot next week. But for this week, he's probably going to stay pretty expensive and seem overpriced just like uh, Talisca was because that's where the hype is, right? And the hype is with this dude right now and uh, the new Liga Portugal cards that we got on the game yesterday. Also, yesterday we had our last 25th and final uh, uh, Tot Swap token, which was Ruan Teles, the last, the 25th 
token, which also this reminds me today, today, today is a really, really big day. And I can't believe that I'm just remembering this at the end of the video right now. We are having brand new, the second set of icon swaps uh, starts today. You can see that this expires here in a few hours, brand new icon swaps today. So people are going to also be attaining 84 times 25, 83 times 25, 82 times 25 today, or any of the other saved up um, icon swaps packs that people were waiting to get. I know it's been all about tot swaps, tot swaps and all this stuff, but today is actually new icon swap objectives and new icon swap tokens will be out. We don't have any leaks right now as far as I'm seeing, uh, seeing as to what those objectives are going to be. But this is pretty big for a lot of people on the rest of the game because it means they're gonna be able to go and get, like for me, I'm gonna do the last two fodder packs, the 82, 25 and the 83 times 25, which if you think about it, are not the most incredible packs ever. Yes, it gives you a great shot at a high rated team of the season and a lot of fodder, but it's just gonna put people in that SBC mode, doing Ronaldo player of the month if they haven't already, doing Isco. Uh, we had the Senezi. Uh, SBC yesterday, which I think is pretty good. Cars door pretty good as well. We still have a few decent SBCs out there like Dan Juma. Uh, a couple of these player of the months that most people would not see as OP at, at this time of the game. The 93 plus moments upgrade. People might just be doing this this week uh, because they have fodder from getting those packs. We still have a Modest that is out. Akin Fenua, if you haven't done him. And we still have a lot of icon player SBCs as well. I know a lot of people right now are like, Nate, what should I do? Should I craft a 93 plus moments upgrade? You know, if you're getting so many of these fodder packs here in the next couple of days from tot swaps, doing upgrade packs in general for La Liga, and now icon swaps, go ahead and start an icon moments card. If it would fit into your team, don't don't regret starting one of these cards. I have done Cantona and Vieira already, and they've been absolutely fantastic. And I'm probably going to end up starting another one of those uh, this week, just because there's going to be so much fodder packs flowing onto the game. Or also people that are going for the really high rated um, icon moments packs from swaps. That's going to be something people will be able to attain uh, today on the game as well. So just watch out, especially if you're on like the silver market, if you guys like trading with that or the commons, um, you know, they don't often mix up what these icon swap objectives are. So, you know, maybe they do instead of, you know, English and uh, Brazilian, maybe they go with Netherlands again. That's a very common one. Italy has been a common one they've required. Maybe stock up on some silvers. And then for the, the league, the friendly ones, they have done, they did Bundesliga, Serie A, and League One. And I think what they might do this time is, you know, since we just had, um, we have just had the, we're in the middle of La Liga, we had Prem Tots, they might go Prem La Liga and then redo one of these, or, or maybe they'll do something different, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. But we'll have three of these tokens through friendlies, and then we will have the rest through icon swaps with squad battles or foot champs kind of the same as before. So we don't have, again, any leaks or anything like that, but it's it's a really big, there's so much to grind gameplay wise and menu wise in team of the season. The content in that aspect is fantastic. We have the draft frenzy that is out right now. And again, if you did not know this, all you have to do is go on beginner single player draft. You don't even have to play. You literally score a goal and then put your player at midfield. The AI will not attack you since you're on beginner mode. It's that easy. It's incredibly easy to do single player draft and then if you just have to take up the time and you can get a lot of draft token packs through going through here and winning these rewards and it'll basically every time you hit a, a win structure or there's an SPC out that actually gives you a draft token as well that you can go and do for really cheap you can get some pretty good packs from that to pack some blues so that's worth your time if you really want to go out um, and go for that so there's just a ton to grind on this game right now and again it, that is going to be increased even more today with icon swaps being re-upped, upgrade packs. It's really a pretty big day on FIFA. It's actually a pretty massive day because of all of that stuff that is going on. So if you're hyped for a massive day on FIFA, hit the thumbs up on the video. Comment down below what you're most excited to do. And of course, which Tots card you would really love to pack. I really want to pack Vinny myself. You know, FIFA 19 vibes, Future Star, when I packed him, I really want to get that again. That'd be a legendary uh, pack pull if we were able to snag him again. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're new. You know, all the good stuff. So, if you guys did enjoy the Weekend League, let me know what you got in your reds. Why am I asking if you enjoyed the Weekend League? I know that you really didn't too much, but I hope you all got some good reds. I am 2-0 currently. I finally got qualified since I have many days to do this. Hopefully, we get our 11 and we can dip with some good reds. But, again, thanks for watching the video today, boys. I appreciate all the support lately. It's been Nate's Photo Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace.